Okay, we're going to go to Storm. I'm here. We're going to go to Storm. Storm is at our state capitol. He is our capitol reporter, and there's quite a bit of activity happening there today as well, Storm. Yeah, Lisa, we're still getting reaction from lawmakers about this announcement from Governor Kevin Stitt. You know, in the days leading up to this decision, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle sent Governor Kevin Stitt public letters asking him to uh, to accept the pardon and parole board's recommendation, both Republicans and Democrats. Right now, I'm joined with by House Minority Leader Emily Virgin, representative from Norman. Uh, Leader Virgin, what's your reaction to the governor's decision? Relief. Uh, that that he made this decision and that all these people who have been fighting for days and weeks and months and years that their work was not in vain. Um, so just an overwhelming sense of relief. Uh, obviously, this wasn't always clear that this was going to be the governor's decision. The House of Representatives laid out staff today at noon. There's extra security here at the Capitol today. Uh, tell me what that was like uh, heading into today with this beefed up security presence, that sort of thing here at the Capitol. Yeah, it was quite a roller coaster because, as you can imagine, uh, those of us who were who were hoping that the governor would make this decision were were reading into every everything that we could, everything we heard, and so um, it was seeing that decision to close today at noon was a little upsetting. Um, but you know, we were told it was just a precaution that the governor hadn't made a decision yet, and so um, you know, it's it's unclear exactly you know what what this timeline was about, um, but you know, it's good news and we'll take it. All right, Lisa, also a Republican representative, Kevin McDougal, has been very outspoken on the Julius Jones case and other cases of death row inmate uh, Richard Glossop as well. We hope to be talking with him uh, just in a little while. For now, we're at the Oklahoma State Capitol, Storm Jones, Oklahoma's own News 9.